Your favorite prophet has sexual um, relations very, with fallen angels. Very strong word um, to deliver to the body of Christ. And so, um, as you come across this video, my recommendation would be to ask God to give you the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and have a listening ear. All right. Um, there are many false prophets that are in covenant um, and have contracts with fallen angels. Um, yes, you heard that correctly. So there is so much chaos, confusion, division, um, and misinformation in the body of Christ. It's actually getting worse by the weeks. Um, and so there's so many people um, that have major platforms that have actually, they are extremely wealthy. They are very influential. And many people are falling for their foolishness blindly. Okay. When they make these packs, um, they do expose Satan's agenda. All right. Now, I'm going to say this. All right. And I don't speak on a lot of celebrities, but I'm going to use Jaguar. Right. If you believe for two seconds out of your day, right, that Jaguar Wright is running around here exposing all of this stuff in the industry and she don't work for them, something is wrong with you. She would have been coming up stinking. She would not be doing these videos. OK. And that is all I'm going to say. So if you believe okay that she just running around here able to speak freely with the stuff that she says you in worse of shape than what you than than what i thought and that's all i'm gonna say um because they expose a lot of things they gain your trust they want people to trust them by exposing other people with actual truths because they're actually exposing actual truths um it is to win your trust the truth of the matter is exposing ministries, celebrities, is not winning souls for the kingdom of God. It's not. It's not drawing you closer to God. Satan knows the average person that proclaims to have a relationship with Christ will not legitimately go to God in spirit and in truth and find the real answers. Men look at the outer appearance all the time, and that's what they go based off of. Because there's a lot of chaos and confusion that is running rampant. Man will not fast, pray, or meditate on the scriptures and simply just read their Bible. Do you know simply reading your Bible every day will give you so many answers? Um, it is easy to win the trust of lukewarm, bound, afflicted, lazy Christians, which is 95% of the Christians that we encounter, even your favorite leaders. Your favorite leader is not even reading the word of God every day. There's a rise of false prophets that are partnering with fallen angels and deities to get accurate revelation, both men and women. Fallen angels, though, they do not come in covenant with everybody. They actually do not sleep with everybody because that is part of the agreement. Um, I did a whole playlist. It's titled Exposing Satan's Kids. One of the ladies, um, she was, I believe her name was Aisha or something along that line. She made a pact with a demon. She was having sex with this demon. Um, she exposed this and then she retracted her statement. All right. I also exposed another couple. Um, they were of hispanic they were hispanic or spanish whatever the case may be i think they were from mexico um he made a pact with a demon uh actually the grim reaper so they come in covenant with these demonic spirits um and these deities and these fallen angels for power okay this is a real thing i've exposed it they've even they even exposed themselves through their own words okay now let's keep going um, they're very selective. One of the things that they must do is have sex with these fallen angels. Um, usually they appear in their bedroom in the middle of the night. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. This is actual Bible. You all need to look into the eyes of these leaders that you are following. I'm being honest with y'all. Um, once they make these pact with the fallen angels, they give them a lot of influence and wealth. The fallen angels give them all kinds of revelations about all kinds of ministries because they really ultimately all work for the devil anyway. The devil is not loyal to anybody, so I don't even know why anybody would want to serve him. But that's another topic for another day. All right, let's keep going. 
God's mercy um, is actually going to run out. And I wanted to make mention of this because if you all continuously ignore all these red flags and you don't do anything about it and all of these ministries are being exposed and you think everybody lying, you think everybody lying. OK, hold that thought. All right. God is not going to have mercy on you because you continuously ignored him and you decide to follow false people. You can easily go to God about these leaders. You can easily go to God and ask him to show you how your leader looks in the spirit realm. I challenge everyone that stumbles across this video to take Ephesians 5 and 11 in the English Standard Version. I want you to recite that scripture out loud, out loud four to 500 times. I can assure you God is going to reveal to you who this person is. All you need to do is repeatedly ask. You will get your answers. Judge the things that these people, these false leaders are telling you to repent about. Anyone calling themselves a prophet should be able to detect a witch, warlock, shaman, anybody working magic. A prophet should be able to tell you about your own dreams. A prophet should be able to tell you about the generational curses of molestation, sickness, poverty, death, etc. in your bloodline. Prophets should be able to warn you about people you're married to and dating. Gone are the days of these false prophets telling you to repent for abortions. Repent for, you know, all of this outlandish foolishness. Oh, you went to a concert, so you need to repent and all of this foolishness. This is foolish doctrine. Foolishness. All right. There are more weightier things than this. I need you to prophesy and tell the people of God what's afflicting their soul. I need you to prophesy and tell them the things that they are doing and hidden because a prophet knows these things. A real prophet will warn you about not reading your Bible every day. A real prophet is going to expose you for not fasting, for not meditating on scriptures and doing the things that God has called us to do. A real prophet is going to tell you, you need to develop your own spiritual regimen and stick to it. All these people you praise, ask God about what deities, what pacts have they come into agreement with? What devils, what contracts, what fallen angels? Who has these leaders had sex with spiritually in order to get to the level that they're, that they're at? Have they gone to Africa? Because that is another huge thing that so many people overlook. Oh my goodness. These false prophets are right in your face. They are right in your face and you are eating it up. You are sucking it up. You are telling them, go ahead, sis, go ahead, bro. And they are leading you right to hell because they gave you an accurate revelation. So now all of a sudden, because they told you some accurate, you believe them. The Bible says you will know them by their fruit. None of you are being blessed under these ministries at all. In fact, most of you have went backwards. Most of you are still doing the same things you was doing before you start following them. You just as confused now as you was when you first started following them. Now, I want to end with this. Every person that watches this video all the way to the end, God wanted me to tell you, you are going to be judged. If you watch this video and you do not take my advice serious and you believe in your heart that you are under a real servant of Christ, then don't even pay this video no attention. This video is for people that have had dreams, that have gotten warnings, that are paying attention to everything that is going on on social media. Because trust and believe me, everybody ain't a liar. Everybody that's doing exposure videos is not um, from Satan. And that is all I'm going to say about that. There are some legit people that God have given them the unction to come forth and to speak on things. I myself personally have done the same thing. God has not called me to expose ministries, celebrities, and all these types of things because God is more concerned about the souls of his people um, and them actually following him, leading people to Christ and not leading people to a leader.